there's been a development. You know what this means. Photo shoot! So I have this giant balloon arch. It literally is huge. Look at that, it is so cute. In the neighborhood that I live in, there is a group chat and someone put in the group chat that they were giving this away for free and I saw it at like 12.30 at night and messaged them. She messaged me back the next morning. She was like, oh, I was just about to pop it today. So yeah, come get it. So that's how I obtained this. I'm using it today for my own self portraits and then hopefully I can get together with a photographer and go do something else. We'll get good use out of this, especially for it costing me absolutely nothing. In terms of what I wanna do for this shoot, outside of using the balloon arch, I don't really have a plan. Not really sure on makeup, not really sure on outfit yet. I'm not even sure how the lighting is gonna turn out yet because I have no natural lighting. I just bought some new lighting panels today and so we'll play around with those and get them set up and see how things go. But the first step of this whole process, at the moment, I just need to set up I have some fabric I want to use, I have my backdrop stand, I'll try and put the arch on the backdrop stand, set up my lighting, sort of see what the setup ends up looking like so I can decide what I want to wear and what exactly I want to do. So let's start setting up. And now let's do an unboxing, this new lighting that I bought today. So usually when I do shoots like this, I'm literally taking every single lamp in my home and organizing it around myself. I decided to buy some panel lights. Hopefully these will work better than my lamps. And my ring light also died. It lasted only about a year, so that's not great. But also I didn't love that ring light. It was a little bit too small for what I was trying to do didn't give off enough light, I really could hardly benefit from using it. So it's time for new lighting and hopefully these solve all my problems. Personally, I don't like ordering stuff online, so I just got these at Walmart today. All right, let's see what's in box number one. More boxes. Okay, so in here is the panels. In these boxes we have the stands. Not quite sure how I want to do lighting. I'm thinking something warm. I'll turn off the overhead lighting. We'll see if these lights are enough or if I need to pull out my lamps. I've got four lamps in this room I can use. And maybe there's a cool way I can like light through the balloons, like even a little backlit situation. Here's the current situation with the lighting. I ended up putting one light in the back. I have a light in front of me and then I have two lamps one on each side just to light the balloons up a little bit more. Let's do some makeup. It took me way longer to get to this point, the point of being able to start makeup, than I thought it would, so I'm a little bit annoyed by that. I'm trying to decide for hair if I want to do like two little pigtails to add some volume. Hopefully they're cute. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, let's do some pigtails. I need to show you this because it kind of drives me crazy, but I'm not trying to change it. This is a drawer of just a bunch of my random stuff for getting ready. It has like these pimple patches in it, hair brushes, straighteners, hair tools, my little bag of hair ties. The box I've had for years, it's always worked great for me. However, in this new house, it won't open farther than this in this drawer. So whenever I'm trying to find anything, I have to just try my best to squeeze in here and find things by feeling and it's just starting to drive me a little bit crazy. 
I'm just trying to find my hairbrush. That's it. Oh, let's attempt some cute hair. Hairstyling is still something I struggle with. Luckily, I am extremely stubborn, so I know I will prevail against hair being frustrating. The hair tie will either make or break for this. This looks good. I think we're gonna try and braid these sections. It's because I did a different shoot recently where I did a hairstyle like this. And the braids will just make it different. Okay, I have braids. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to attempt some quick makeup, something with colors inspired by the balloons. I'm going to use this picture as makeup inspo. I really love the Don't You Makeup, and I've never tried to do a look, and I think this would be an appropriate time. Now, before we can really get this party started, we've got to unbox another item, which is my new tripod. I just got this today. I've needed one for a really long time, and it just hasn't happened until I decided to do this. This is the only brand available at Walmart. When I was looking at Facebook Marketplace for used tripods, everyone was selling this one, which was a little bit of a red flag for me, but I'm in a bit of a time crunch with this balloon art. I don't know how long it'll last and I needed an immediate solution. If you remember in my last self-portrait photo shoot, which I did almost a year ago, I used my air fryer on top of like a stack of books on top of a chair as a tripod. It's about time that we got something proper. Okay, I'm gonna set this up. I'm gonna change and then let's start shooting. I have my camera and this is how I do my self-portrait shoots, which I have done at least three. I'm not super experienced. I've got this cute little camera here. Bought it on Facebook Marketplace. I had to make sure it had both of these certain functions. Number one is shooting in RAW. Number two, Bluetooth capabilities. I connect the camera to my iPad so I can use the remote trigger and also so I can see what you would see through the lens if you were looking through it. Here's a power button. There it is. Okay. Alright, my camera is set up. It only took me a million years, but now I can see what my camera sees. So this will make it really easy for me. Now I just gotta get this into place and then we can get started. Also, I gotta configure this thing, like set the lighting, aperture, ISO, things that I don't really know what they mean, but I know they're important. I changed my shirt because I did not like how the other one was looking. Once I started shooting, I realized how difficult this lighting setup was. And for most of the shoot, I was just repositioning and adjusting the lighting. I was getting lots of unwanted shadows and there just wasn't enough light. It was frustrating to not be able to execute my vision, but also with how inexperienced I am, I'm not mad at myself about that. So while this shoot didn't go how I wanted it to, I gained a lot of valuable knowledge and experience that will help me with future self-portrait projects. Out of over 100 shots, I was able to get about 16 usable images. Not many turned out good because the lighting wasn't good, but the good ones were good. And I think it's so funny that you can see all the lights I used reflecting in my eyes. After culling the images, I got right into editing. I uploaded all the images onto my laptop to Google Photos and then downloaded them on my iPad for editing. The first app I use is Lightroom. After cropping the image, my main purpose for using this app is to create an editing preset for the photos. 
This process is pretty simple. I just go through and adjust the different balances until I have something I like. I save the preset and apply it to all other photos that I'm editing. Then I export the photos to PixArt for retouching. PixArt is not necessarily a retouching app, but I use it that way to add detail around my face, whiten my teeth and eyes, and add color back into my eyes. Then after messing around with some other features just for kicks and giggles, I also added some grain to the photo because the photos are already a bit grainy due to the lack of light. So now I'm just making it a part of the editing. Here's how the photos turned out. brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the self-portrait process. Honestly, it's really involved. I'm a one-person team, so it takes quite a long time to get everything set up, do the hair, do the makeup, adjust the camera. I really want to get to a point where with my self-portraits, I can have more creative angles. It's just with this shoot, with the lighting not playing in my favor, it was hard for me to then think about adjusting the height of the camera, the angle, stuff like that. But hopefully in the future, I'll be able to incorporate more creativity with my self-portraits. I just need to get more experienced with doing them. Please comment down below what you think of the photos, how they turned out. I edited them using the free versions of the apps, Lightroom and PixArt. So if you are looking for free apps to use for photo editing. I highly recommend those. Don't forget to like this video. Please follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. I will be sharing more photos from this shoot on my Instagram, so don't miss out. Make sure you're following me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!